Keenan. There's Keenan. And Falcomon. And Peckmon. For a second, I thought that was an H, and I was gonna call that out. He got away with this one. Okay. Keenan Cryer. Age 10. Okay. L let's stop at that age for a second. I just want to point this out. Keenan is supposed to be 10. You can probably believe he's 10. But, um, think about this for a second. The kids in Digimon Frontier were also originally supposed to be 10. They are his age. Just let that sink in. Anyway. Qualities. Keenan grew up in the digital world and was raised by a Digimon called Frigimon. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> he thinks he is a Digimon and does not like humans. His Digimon partner, Falcomon, has been with him since childhood. <sighs> yes, indeed. Ugh. I'm sorry that I keep sniffling. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Chromon. There's Chromon. And, uh, there's Ravemon. Uh, wonderful. And Ravemon Burst Mode. You can't see that too well unless I put it in the light. Ravemon Burst Mode. Ah. Uh, delightful. Okay, uh, let's, let's take a small break here because I feel like I really need to blow my nose. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Let me tell you the ways of mine! Let me tell you the ways of mine! Okay, sorry about that. We're back now. Time to keep going through the the booklet. Why did they just list him as Richard? By the way, this is Samson. Oh, look at that! They did it right in the booklet! Commander Richard Samson. You know, no one actually calls him Richard in the series. They call him Samson. Just saying. And Kudamon. Okay. Oh, they don't have an age for Samson? Darn. Qualities. Samson is in charge of the Japanese branch of DATS. By the way, just as a side note, we never see any of the other branches of DATS, so... I always assumed that they only made another one in Austria just because Thomas was there. But, who am I to judge? There could be tons of DATS all over the place and we just never see them. But, whatever. Okay, he acts as mediator for Marcus and Thomas when they argue. His Digimon partner, Kudamon, is calm and collected and battles with superiority and smugness. Yes, he does. Okay, and this is one of his forms. I, what? How do you pronounce that? Repamon? Repamon? I don't know. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like it should be an Inuyasha, don't you think? But whatever. Um, let's keep going. Uh, cheering mon. And there that is. The reason I'm so weird about pronouncing these names is Kudamon, like, almost never digivolves in the series, so you maybe see these forms, like, once each. This one, twice. But the other two, once each. And both very brief appearances. So, yeah. But anyway, um, Kentorismon. That's his form. Oh yeah, and spoiler, he's one of the royal knights. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yushima. Old man. And... They pronounce it Kamamon, so I'm gonna he go ahead and pronounce it Kamamon. But whatever. Um. Oh, and Guapamon's down there, so I'll mention that. Okay. Homer Yushima. Qualities. Yushima is a mysterious old man who first gave Marcus his Digivice. 
He always appears when Marcus is in trouble and gives useful advice. His partner, Kamamon, is a thoughtful cyborg Digimon that belongs to Dats. Wonderful. He also makes w lovely tea. Shajamon. There that is. I have no idea what this weapon is supposed to be. Yeah, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Um, you can figure that out. Oh boy, here's Megumi. Hello, Megumi. I never remember her name or the other secretary at Dats' names. So I'm glad they're written down here. So she's the partner of the White Pond Chessmon and White Knight Pond Chess... No, White... White Knight Chessmon and the Bishop Chessmon. Chess fetish. Okay, let's see what it says about Megumi Shirakawa. Oh, that's her last name. That's nice. Qualities. Megumi is a Dats computer operator along with her best friend, Mickey. She likes to have fun and has a crush on Thomas. Who doesn't have a crush on Thomas? Actually, I don't. Sorry. She speaks for her Digimon partner, Pon Chessmon, white, because he is mute. Aw, you're mute? I thought you were just shy. Aw, what a sad existence you lead. Moving on. Miki! And she's got Black Pawn Chessmon, Black Knight Chessmon, and the Rook Chessmon. Yay! Okay. Miki Kurosaki. Really? I did not know their full names before. This is crazy. This is actually useful information! Good job, booklet! Okay, qualities. Miki is a Dats computer operator along with her best friend, Megumi. She is impatient and talkative. She speaks for her Digimon partner, Ponchessmon Black, because he is mute. Seriously, that's so sad! I swear, I was under the impression they were just shy, like Kamamon, and just didn't speak that much. Aww. Poor Ponchessmon. But anyway, um, is that it? Oh no, surprise guests on the back, the bio-hybrids. We've got Koki, Ivan, and Nanami. They're all a little crazy. Bio-hybrid trio, Koki Subasa. Since when did he have a last name? And since when was it Subasa? Alright, why not? Ivan and Nanami are human Digimon hybrids who carry out Akihiro Karada's evil plans. Well, why isn't Karada here if they're here? He's more important than them. What do you show up in, like, five, six, seven episodes? Something like that? I don't know. You're not that important. Karada's more important than you. Uh, but, uh... Well, that was the booklet, so let's put that back. We'll look through the DVDs. <sighs> we got episodes 1 through 7 there. Marcus. Episodes 8 through 14 there. Got with Thomas. Oh, by the way. Oh, no, wait. That episode is on the previous disc. I was going to give a shout out to episode 7, a birthday Christy will never forget <laughs> because of the infamous bomb to orange edit. Yeah. If you want me to talk about that briefly, let me just say my thoughts on that are I think it's hilarious. I mean, seriously, go watch that episode. Go see that orange. It's hilarious. And it's especially hilarious because I actually think the bomb would have been less of an issue to be in the episode than the orange. Specifically because of what the orange says in the episode. I won't spoil it. Go watch the episode for yourself. Make your own conclusions. My conclusion is I just think the edit is funny. I pretty much think all edits in Digimon are pretty funny. When they do stuff like that, 
it's hilarious. But anyway, let's move on. Um, next we have Yoshi on the third disc with episodes 15 to 20. Whee! Then Keenan Falcomon on disc 4 with episodes 21 to 26. And with disc 5, it starts into the episodes that have not previously been on DVD yet, so... Yay! Wonderful. A landmark thing for Digimon Data Squad. So we got Samson and Kudamon there. And, uh... We got episodes 27 to 32. And then... Yeshiva and Kamamon on disc 6 with episodes 33 to 38. Uh, Megumi, yay, I got her name right, yay. On disc 7 with episodes 39 to 44. And then Miki, disc 8 with the last four episodes because if you didn't know, Data Squad only has 48 episodes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just noticed something. Oh my gosh. Villains Gallery! Oh man. We are so going to look over that. Alright. Next up, Digimon Data Squad Villains Gallery. <laughs> uh, this should be entertaining. <laughs> 